This month on Aggie Profiles, we head back to the hardwood for a story on NM State Volleyball superstar Sasha Lee Thomas. Despite battling multiple knee injuries collegiately, the Kingston Jamaican native was named the WAC Preseason Player of the Year. And we finish off this month with two members of the NM State soccer team, Dominique Rivera and Tutti Toronto, who are coming off a stint on the Puerto Rican national team. This is Aggie Profile. She's definitely one of the best athletes I've ever played with. A competitor, a sheer competitor. Competitor, emerging leader, tremendous athlete. She's a very impressive athlete. Born in Kingston, Jamaica, NM State redshirt junior Sasha Lee Thomas has emerged as a star for the storied NM State volleyball program. But it hasn't always been easy. Injuries and time away from home has made it challenging for the six foot two middle hitter. I'm very proud to be a Jamaican. Like, I love home. That's where my heart is. And when I came here, I was like, this is not home. What do I do? While Thomas was born in Jamaica, she spent much of her childhood in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, where she developed into a track star right away. Track and field is every curious, especially the Jamaican first love, you know. Um, everyone is very passionate about track and field down there. Usain Bolt, when he runs, it's like the whole Caribbean alley come together to watch it on a big screen or one TV. So I actually really didn't know about volleyball until freshman year of high school. So in middle school, I just I always thought about track and basketball. With her athleticism shining through in the basketball court and on the track in her freshman year of high school, Sasha Lee was approached to play a game she didn't know much about. It was what my last track and field meet in uh, in middle school and uh, the high school volleyball coach Maria Sharekis she came up to me she's like why don't you come out and try out I was like sure I'll come out and try out so she really got me into the game I was so out of my element when I started volleyball freshman year volleyball in high school I was like what is this I never played this before um, in Jamaica we play netball with the volleyball so I was like how do I do this? It's really complicated. And then I was like, all right, I'm an athlete. I need to get used to it. And I was pretty bad. I couldn't set, couldn't pass. I, I could hit though. I have good rhythm, so I could have hit the ball really good. I just kept jumping in the net. Because of her late start learning the game, Thomas was lightly recruited at the collegiate level. Then came NM State longtime head coach, Mike Jordan, who saw an athlete he could develop into a successful volleyball player. I had um, a lot of team shot away because I didn't. I was very inexperienced, you know. But the talent was there, so um, Mike Jordan took a chance on me, and he loves talent, you know. If you have the talent and ability, he could turn you into a great player, and that's what I really love about this um, program. I was. I, I still thought I was a project because um, my feet. I was. I had. I was goofy footed when I came here. Um, I went right, left, right. When it's left, right, left. It was a high school highlight tape on YouTube that first caught the eye of Mike Jordan and his coaching staff, who all described her as a raw athlete. When we recruited her, uh, Coach Jordan found her on a YouTube video, and she had goofy feet and very little to no experience playing volleyball. It was uh, the goofiest video. It was completely raw athlete is all it was. Backwards feet, uh, she'd just jump up and Swap, swat of all the ground and had no idea of what she was doing, but you could see the pure athleticism in her. Uh, in terms of her being a raw athlete, that's something that we really uh, like and look for in the recruiting process. We've had a lot of success with players like that, obviously like a Kim Ogu, and uh, we saw what we thought could be a great player eventually. We just uh, 
had to take the time to get her there. That's our job is to teach them how to play. But when you've got players that can do things so easily, get off the floor so quickly, and uh, can, can hammer a ball with that kind of arm speed, you know uh, eventually she's going to be a point producer for you, and she certainly has become that. The collegiate career for NM State Volleyball superstar Sasha Lee Thomas didn't start quite the way she wanted it to. In 2013, her first year in college, Thomas was forced to take a medical redshirt. Then in 2014, she had her season cut short when she went down with a knee injury in a Halloween match against Seattle U. I remember that moment like it was yesterday. It was on Halloween. I hate Halloween, by the way. Um, we had recruits here. We had Brianna, Tatiana here. Um, I was on the, on the right side and I went up to hit a ball. I landed and immediately I heard a pop. I started screaming because I know it's the end. And it's only, like you said, it's only four games left in the season and conference is about to come up. And I was so dis disappointed because I know I wanted to be in that conference final with my team. You always have that fear when a player, especially a young player, has injures, injuries to uh, their knees, you know what I mean, and, and vital injuries. I mean, uh, knees and ankles and, and arms, you know, shoulders, those are scary, scary injuries where a player cannot be the same. Uh, and so it's always a big fear. Yeah, you always, you always wonder if the same kind of athlete's gonna come back from that because we really don't know. Uh, we can kind of project how somebody will react to an, uh, to an injury, but you never really know until they go through it. You know, I think it's been really frustrating for her to, you know, be at the top of her game and then have to deal with another injury, and it's kind of come back and forth over the years. But she's always battled back, and she's always come back even stronger and even better than she was before. Um, I'm not sure I've ever seen somebody be injured like that and come back and be even better than they were before. The neat part of Sasha's career is the development. Uh, it was derailed a little while, obviously, by the injury, but uh, her progression from season to season has been tremendous. And then this past year in particular, uh, having her first completely healthy spring practice was a really big deal for her, and, and uh, we're expecting to see great results. I expect uh, to be the leader on the court, you know. Um, I've been here for four years, I'm a Richard Jr., so I expect to lead this team every time I go out, be able um, to bring energy to this team, to be a vocal leader on the court all the time. Um, I always have to bring passion no matter what um, the score may be. I would describe her game as very competitive and very passionate. She gets really passionate when she plays and I think it shows through everything that she does and it goes with us too, you know, feeds off on us too. She fires you up and um, she kind of gives you, I don't know, some like, encouragement when you're in the back row and you're working really hard when she's putting balls away for you and helping you out back there and putting up big blocks. Uh, she just makes your job so much easier and she makes it so much more fun. The way she jumps and how she goes about it, she's so competitive that she wants to stuff you to the floor every time. She always rises to challenges. Um, gosh, she never lets down and she's always just a sheer competitor. Whenever we play big teams, she plays even bigger. She's the best. When she's healthy, she, there's no one stopping her, and it's just awesome to be a part of that. When I'm healthy, like, no one could stop me. Like, I don't care who you are, what team you play for, I'm going for it. New Mexico State Aggie Profiles is brought to you by Pepsi, White Sands Federal Credit Union, Route 66, and by Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo and you, together will go far. Known as one of the team jokesters off the court, Aggie Volleyball junior Sasha Lee Thomas is all business on the court, where she is known as a fierce competitor. She's a very determined and focused competitor when the lights come on. Aggressive. Emerging leader. Powerful more than anything. Quick, she's so diverse. A competitor. A sheer competitor. A tremendous athlete. You know, when she's on the court, she's really like fiery and intense, but when she's off the court, she's just really like fun to be around and cracks some really funny jokes. Sasha is a goofball. She's funny. 
She likes to chat it up and sometimes she now get in trouble in practice for being a little bit too silly. On a team with no seniors, Thomas has had to develop into one of the leaders on the 2016 Aggie team. You know, last year we graduated five seniors and a lot of leadership and, and Sasha's kind of taken on that role and especially the underclassmen, wrapping, wrapping her arms around them and kind of showing them the ropes and teaching them what to do and the right way to do it. She is an impressive, impressive athlete and, and one of the more impressive ones we've had in that, that position to go along with a long line of them so she just continues that, that tradition and that's the kind of athlete we want to continue to recruit. Coming out as a freshman, she helped me get in the groove of things and especially when she would like encourage me and motivate me and say good job, like that meant a lot to me too. She's incredible. She jumps so high and hits balls so hard and I'm really excited for what she's going to do this year. I think of a great player to be around and I think of a future national Jamaican Olympian. Thomas was given the opportunity in the offseason to head back home and train with the Jamaican national team, an opportunity not many collegiate athletes get to experience. Uh, she's proud of her Jamaican heritage uh, and you know she'll, she'll be the first to talk noise to you about how, how good they are. Sasha's development over the course of the last couple years I think has turned some heads and for her to be able to go even in a limited capacity and just train with them a little bit is, is going to be a big deal. It really helped me a lot because it gives me different experience, you know. Um, it shows me how um, other people play on the court, you know. Um, it shows me how, how the people react to different situations. I think she understands the, the importance of being an all-around player. Uh, the international game, you know, is limited substitutions and uh, players have to stay on the floor a little bit more often and I think she sees possibly a little bit more ability in herself to, to be a little bit more than maybe just a middle attacker. I think she can be a pin player and a very good one. Obviously the volleyball down there is not as competitive as it is in the state, but I'm grateful that the coach um, called me and gave me an opportunity to play. I'm very thankful that I'm able to go back and play for the country that I really love. NM State Volleyball has a long tradition with eight NCAA tournament appearances during the tenure of head coach Mike Jordan, including six in the previous 11 years. And Thomas has the chance to go down as one of the best to play in the program. I, I would certainly put her in the top 15 or so. I mean, I think she, uh, from a jumping ability standpoint, she could be top five, um, the type of player we like. Great athlete that we can turn into a great volleyball player. I think Sasha now uh, is a lot more mature and is able to deal with those expectations. And she knows as you get older, she looks healthy and she looks determined to play well and so we need her to do that and I think she's ready to do that. She's ready to take this team to another championship. She has a desire to play internationally. Uh, athletes like her are hard to find. I definitely want to go overseas and play a couple years before I start my professional career. You know, I really love volleyball. It has grown on me so much. She's definitely one of the best athletes I've ever played with. One of the best go-to players we've had in the program. Just know that it's not how you begin, it's how you finish. That's the story of WAC preseason player of the year, Sasha Lee Thomas. Coming up next on Aggie Profiles, we head to the NM State soccer field for a story on two members of the Puerto Rican national team, Dominique Rivera and Tutti Toronto, who also star in the Aggie soccer team. That's next on Aggie Profiles. NM State soccer sophomore Dominique Rivera is coming off a life-changing experience as a member of the Puerto Rican national team. An Albuquerque native, Rivera called the opportunity a dream come true. The thought of going to the national level is, I think, something in the back of like every player's head. But like, regardless of if it's for the States, if it's for Puerto Rico, I don't think I ever imagined it being for Puerto Rico. And then the opportunity really fell into my lap and it was like the best feeling ever. It was busy and really stressful, but like probably one of the most amazing things because it was all of a sudden, it happened like within a week. It was like, we think this is gonna happen, and then it was like, you're leaving. It's great for our players that are currently here. They come back as a better player, and it forces the players that we have here to raise their level as well. It opens up their imagination. It opens up the idea that they can go somewhere and play after college. So it's very beneficial in many, many ways. While playing for the Puerto Rican national team, 
Rivera met Tutti Tirado, a native of San Juan, who also grew up with dreams of playing on the national level. I started the national team when I was 14. Um, all my friends were there, so I was like, I need to be there, that's my dream. And then when I was 14, my, my coach sent me like a letter that you can go to the national team, so I started practicing, and since then I've, I've been there. Playing for a national team can lead to special moments, and that was no different for Rivera and Torado, who both can recall a moment when it all sunk in. It was actually in our first game, and we were taking a, an offensive corner kick, and I didn't, I didn't go up. I was still back in the defense, you know, hanging out, holding the line. And all of a sudden, I looked around, and I looked at the stadium, and I looked at where we were, and I looked down at my jersey, and I was like, what am I doing? Like, how I am in Haiti right now, and it was, it was phenomenal. Like, it all of a sudden it just like hits you, but it like it, just an indescribable feeling, really. The first time I heard my anthem, that was I couldn't believe that I was doing that. My family was there, my friends were there, and when it started the anthem, I started crying, and I realized that it was a feeling that I couldn't like verbalize it. Rivera and Torado weren't yet collegiate teammates when they played for Puerto Rico, but that soon changed. Um, I remember we was um, in Haiti. We had a t um, we were playing against Haiti, and the game like um, it was a little bit late, so Dominique was in the locker room, and she was like, um, "Someone told me that you're going to New Mexico State University," and I was really confused. I was like, "What are you talking about?" And then like. I think three weeks later, I received a call, and it was like, do you want to come? Do you want to see? Do you want to experience it? And that was like my dream. Um, seeing that I have accomplished my first dream that was the national team, and then um, God sent me Dominic to the national team, and it was perfect, you know, like the process. She talking to our coaches, and now like I'm here. It's something that I can't believe. New Mexico State Aggie Profiles is presented by Route 66, Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo and you together will go far. Pepsi. And by White Sands Federal Credit Union. I really just couldn't deny, but um, I like the fact that it's home, but I'm not at home. I'm still in New Mexico, but I'm three hours away from my family, so I get to kind of be on my own in some ways. I love the girls here. The coaching staff is amazing. I think having players like Dom um, coming out of the state of New Mexico, uh, having the accolades that she, that she has, uh, and, and now that she's being able to perform at that level for us here at New Mexico State, um, and, and she's put in a lot of work to get to that national team level, and you know I, I think she's gonna be able to continue to, to compete at that level. She was the Gatorade Player of the Year. She was uh, all, all New Mexico, everything. I mean, uh, one of the top uh, players in the region, so she was already polished when she came. But then going overseas, and, and not only talking about the soccer, but just the life experience. And, and playing against other competition, being in another country, being on her own. She came back uh, a young lady and, and came back a woman, came back uh, uh, almost a true professional. On a team full of underclassmen, Tutti Tirado is still working on making the adjustment to the collegiate game in America. And she's doing so with the help of her head coach, Freddie Delgado. She's a little bit on the smaller side, so she's learning the American game, which is more physical and a lot faster than what the international game is. Uh, so she's learning from that end, but she definitely has the talent. Uh, she's brought, already brought a lot to the team. I know that she wanted to play at the collegiate level, and she's a stud. The coaches were like, what do you think about her? I was like, well, she's a beast. Like I saw her take on like a 6'3 Jamaican girl and win. Like, She's a stud, she deserves to be here. In Puerto Rico, at first, we didn't have like that much support that we have here. Um, it's really different, like, when we talk about 
um, uniforms, when we talk about practice, when we talk about how they protect us. It's really different. Like in Puerto Rico, we don't have too much resources. And having this now, it's amazing. Like I would like to, like all my national teammates, to be here and experience this with me because it's amazing. And then when you have a player that comes in who's appreciative of the gear that she gets, appreciative of the opportunity, of the resources, of, of everything that's put into this program, it helps our current players kind of open up their eyes and say, wow, this is fantastic. I'm so lucky, so fortunate to be here. So all the way around, Tuti has been just awesome for us. We hope you enjoy the stories of NM State student athletes Sasha Lee Thomas, Dominique Rivera, and Tuti Toronto. For our entire crew, I'm Adam Young saying so long and thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next month on Aggie Profiles.